Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to draw the side view of the body of an anime girl. So, let's get started. First off, let's draw a vertical line for the center of the character and where the character is going to be. And then, let's draw two horizontal lines for the top and the bottom of the character. You guys can see this line? Yes. Try to fit the character into this camera. Maybe I should I mean, move this a little bit upwards so that you guys can see it better. Okay. And then of course we're gonna divide it by two. I've got I've gone through this like a thousand times showing you guys how to draw the body of an anime character. And it's also really hard for me to to measure them by eyes because my head head can't be right on top of on top of the camera. Is this correct? Okay. Now let's divide the last one by two. This one is not so important. I'm not gonna you know do the hand measuring thing. I'm gonna divide it by three. Again, not that important. I will look at the camera and it looks okay, so it's okay. So uh, it's self-explanatory, but I'm gonna just you know, tell you guys that this section is gonna be a head, and and that means this character is uh, is gonna be six heads tall. So of course you could have gone for seven heads tall, but then you have to divide the upper half. I mean, divide the whole height of the character by seven, which does do not you know have the same line as the center of the body. Therefore, you will have to make another line there and divide this one by two and then divide this and then, yeah, no, it's complicated, but it's possible. But, you know, don't need to explain anymore. I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and show you guys how to draw the head. Of course, I'm not going to go into the details now because I have another video on how to draw the side view of the head. So I'm just going to be quick and show you guys how the shape should look like, like this. And of course it should be, you know, on the center of the body, on this line. And by the way, this line is so unclear, where do I have two lines for it? It's that one. And for... Maybe I should move the head a little bit forward. I don't know. Probably okay. Not that important. You know, of course, this is just a sketch now. The head is not gonna look like that in the end. Okay, so now for the hardest part. This is the hardest part, in my opinion, to get the shape of the body correct. Okay, so basically, what I think of is. Uh, is that there should be a curve like this and not not much but a small curve like this and I should you know just go towards the left downwards pretty pretty much straight and then at the end around here around the center of this I don't know of these two lines just curve outwards again to make the button bottom bottom is that called a bottom yeah it is okay so for this one it should follow this line maybe a little bit more it depends on how much breast you want to give your character how large it should be I personally don't like to draw as large as some anime do because I think it's so unnatural and it's not very beautiful also so I'm just gonna go with something pretty normal, pretty real, realistic. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So for this one, a slight curve, you know, almost insignificant. You almost you, you can't almost see it. You almost can't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. And then uh, of course the another curve, kind of another curve. If you guys can see that, there is a, you know start of another curve there but it's not that important what's important is to just get the shape correct the in general because this is just a sketch 
unless you want to draw your character naked, of course. But, you know, in what situation would you want to do that? Actually, sometimes you want to do that, but not much. <laughs> okay, so again, I could have drawn, you know, rectangles, but I'm just gonna give him some him is a her. I'm gonna give her, you know, the shape of the leg. Like this. So I've gone through this again, but I'm just gonna say to you guys again, there's a muscle there and it just you know curved to be you know thinner and thinner and for this part it's just basically a straight line. No, not a straight line, it curves actually a little bit outwards, but here a little bit like that. A little bit like this. Okay. And for this one, just curve like this, I don't know, maybe even straight. You could curve like this, depending on how much fat the character has on the thigh. Now for the foot. And of course I forgot that the knee should be a little bit higher than where, it, where the line is. So I'm just going to move everything a little bit upwards like this and then the ankle is going to be here. So of course the height, I mean the length between these two lines is going to be the half of the length, length be between these two lines. The half, the half, half, the half, yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Okay. That's pretty good. Now let's go up again and look at it. Pretty good. Now what we're lacking is of course the the arms. The arms does not start from the side. It's, an, it's in the middle but it's a little bit to the side. You can see that on this line. It's to the right of these lines. So basically your, your shoulder is a little bit you know, on the back side of your body. giving it some slight shape but not really a realistic one but once again this is just a sketch of course and when you draw the clothes on you know because of the fabric the all the shape is going to be less you know clear so it's going to the lines is going to be you know smoother and straighter it does not have the shape as much anymore even if it's um you know, tight one. Not unless it's really, really tight clothes. So how do I know how, how large the hands is? R is to just, you know, compare it to the, the face of the character. I think it should be around here, but of course it depends a lot on the style. Some anime have really small hands, some anime have really large hands. But my way is to be around there, around the height of the face. You know, of course I don't go ahead and measure it with my hand. It's just with the eyes. And I'm not gonna go into the details on how to draw the hands because I have a video on how to do so. So make sure you check that one out. Now, of course, you can see that it, it covered a little bit of the curve, but that's okay. Sometimes I want to you know, move the hands a little bit away so that you guys can see the curve. But whatever. Now, let, let's just zoom out and see if everything is alright. I'm just going to move myself up a little bit. Okay, there. That is very good. Now, the only thing that I'm not satisfied with is the neck. It's a little bit too thick. Well, 
Okay, so now let's go into the details. Uh, and by the way, there is still something wrong with it. Because I made it a little thinner, I kind of see, you know, that it is not as good here. Okay, everything just kind of got worse. Certainly. Okay, around there. Let's just leave it like that. I'm actually going to just go ahead and draw in the shape of the face. Now I have a video on how to draw the side view of the face of an enemy girl. Make sure you check that one out because I'm, it's really hard to go into details on everything in one single video. But uh, okay, so basically, what you do is to get this shape right, that's actually the most important thing, and then makes everything narrower a little bit narrower. And the eyebrow also narrower, narrower. And uh, for the hair, I'm going to give her, I don't know, yeah, just just plain long hair. But I'm not gonna apply them just yet, or maybe maybe on the head, but not on the body, because I I have to you know draw the the things on uh, beneath the hair, which is gonna be the clothes. Okay, this one look do look a little bit strange. I don't know why. Maybe it's my it's just my illusion, my illusion, just my fantasy. I don't know how to say it. But let's go ahead and give her a T-shirt. I'm gonna give her a very normal one, very normal T-shirt. I'm actually gonna move her shoulder up a little bit because I think actually I'm gonna move her chin a little bit downwards. No, just gonna make it stay there. But I think I drew the, the neck a little bit too long. Somehow somehow I have to fix it. You know by moving the shoulder up a little bit. Yeah, around there. That's Probably enough. Okay, so the t shirt is not going to be very tight, it's not going to be very loose either. It's just going to be very simple. And So I have a video on how to draw, you know, the creases. So basically, because I uh, I just said it is gonna be, be a t-shirt. A t-shirt has kind of soft, a soft uh, fabric, so it follows the shape of the body quite well. And also, it's not very tight, not very loose. I said so. The creases should be, you know, not very much, not very little, and the bumps should be not very small, and not very large.
and I just I'm just showing her you know arm now so I have to give her arm the kind of you know shape something like that okay so for her leg I'm going to give her um jeans yeah and I'm gonna keep very if never thinks very uh, ordinary it's really hard to think and draw at the same time okay but of course you can see that this you know the, the sketch lines is not perfect so sometimes you don't have to follow it you know very very you know no, don't follow it very much. Now, if you see something wrong, change it. The shoes are a little bit too small. I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. Yeah, there. Pretty good. Now let's go up again and look at this girl. And of course, we will have to make the hands a little bit clearer. It's basically a mess now. Actually gonna you know this one I don't know why but it looked a little bit strange I'm actually gonna make it a little bit smaller the breast of this girl maybe a little bit larger again but not as large as it was I'm just gonna erase that bump just gonna make it really flat there yeah something like that pretty good you know now we are Back to you know the hair. Of course, we're gonna be done with the hair. So for the hair, what what you basically do is to is to you know just draw everything following your body. See that. The shoulders dividing the hair. I hope you guys can see that. By the way, I'm just gonna erase this part of the body of the sketch. And I'm going to erase this part. No, just leave it like that. And uh, for something in, for this one, for the hair in front of the air, in front of the ear, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna give her very long hair as I've been given, giving to girls in my tutorials, I think. And of course, should be some strand of strands of hair on top of the sh the arm. One strand of hair on top of the arm. And
Hope you guys can see this mess. But this is really a mess. Okay, this is getting, you know, worse and worse. Let me just finish off the ear. I mean, the eyes. Or the one one eye. Okay, now let's look at the thing from above. Let's let's look at the whole body. Of course, we have to erase some of the lines, some of the guidelines. And let me just make everything a little bit clearer using, you know, I think I should use something harder. A 4B is pretty okay. Yes. Just gonna use a 4B. By the way, I'm actually just gonna change the pencil. Yeah, a 4B. 4B pencil, a pencil that's much harder. First time I'm doing this, I think. Normally, when I draw, draw a body, I just leave it, you know, with all the guidelines on and stuff. But this time, I think it looked a little bit like a mess. There's so much lines going on, so I feel like I had to, you know, use this one to make it, you know, make all the strokes harder, stronger, and clearer. And by the way, um, when you're doing this, when you're doing the inking or you know just using a really hard and sharp pencil to you know make the lines bolder, you should remember to try not to try to make the line as thin as possible. But of course, you should use those. You know, if you you know sometimes some lines have to be thick and some lines should be thin, but in general try to make them thinner than you how you can are able to and don't you know draw it again and again it's gonna make it look like a mess now for the face of the character Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Now I don't even know what that line should mean, but whatever. As long as it does not ruin my drawing. 
And if you guys have noticed, I told you guys to not draw it many times, you know, retrace the lines many times, but I still do it. That's because it's hard. You know, it's hard to do everything in one line. Of course, the more experienced inkers, they can, they are able to, you know, do it in one line. But it's okay even if you do it several times because as long as it looks good in the end it should be okay now i'm just gonna use an hp pencil do the shading of course it's been 25 minutes now almost 26 minutes so i'm gonna be quick on this so of course that's everything i do i mean that's that's the thing i always do give it a black hair No, I'm not being racist or what or whatever. I just really love black hair or dark hair. And um, now for the jeans, I'm actually gonna also give it shade. And I'm also gonna give it this thing, this line on the side of the jeans and if possible to see at all I'm gonna give her you no know, things like this you know a pocket be on the on the butt and a pocket on the side yeah, it's just minimal things, and I'm gonna shade below the creases. And I'm gonna shade behind the, the arm, I mean the hand. And uh, shade behind the arm on the shirt, and the t-shirt. Shade on the folds and uh, shade on this part shade on that 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 part shade on the ear on the inside of the ear oh now you guys can see oh i'm sorry guys went out of the camera again but it's just like that but this is a mess i'm gonna redraw the lines and shade it slightly like that and uh, what else could I be doing some shades there some shade here and of course the shoes Actually, there should be a line of white on the bottom. If I'm able to fit it in. The shoes are so small now. And my, my strokes are so thick now. It's really hard to fit in. Fit in. No, but it's not that important. The main focus is the body and we are actually done. Now, hope you guys did it well and hope you guys learned something new. And, you know, this is, you know, a, a requested video after I've done, you know, the, the tutorials on how to draw the body of a male character. So I'm actually gonna, the next video, most likely I'm going to do the three, four view of, of a female character. And, yes, I... I will be back with that video and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. So I'm just gonna go with something pretty normal, pretty real, realistic. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So for this one, a slight curve, you know, almost insignificant. You almost, you, you can't almost see it. You almost can't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. 
and then uh, of course the another curve kind of another curve if you guys can see that there is a you know start of another curve there but it's not that important what's important is to just get the shape correct the in general because this is just a sketch unless you want to draw your, your character naked of course you know in what situation would you want to do that actually sometimes you want to do that but not much <laughs> okay so again I could have drawn you know rectangles but I'm just gonna give him some he is a her I'm gonna give her you know the shape of the leg like this So I've gone through this again, but I'm just gonna say to you guys again, there's a muscle there and it just you know, curved to be, you know, thinner and thinner. And for this part, it's just basically a straight line. No, not a straight line. It curves actually a little bit outwards, but here a little bit like that, a little bit like this. Okay. And for this one, just curve like this. I don't know. Maybe even straight. You could curve like this depending on how much fat the character has on the thigh. Now for the foot. And of course I forgot that the knee should be a little bit higher than where it. Hello guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to draw the side view of the body of an anime girl. So let's get started. First off, let's draw a vertical line for the center of the character and where the character is going to be. And then let's draw two horizontal lines for the top and the bottom of the character. You, can, you guys can see this line? Yes. Try to fit the character into this camera. Maybe I should... I mean, Move this a little bit upwards so that you guys can see it better. Okay. And then of course we're gonna divide it by two. I've got I've gone through this like a thousand times showing you guys how to draw the body of an anime character. And it's also really hard for me to to measure them by eyes because my head head can't be right on top of on top of the camera. Is this correct? Okay. Now let's divide the last one by two. This one is not so important. I'm not gonna you know, do the hand measuring thing. I'm gonna divide it by three. Again, not that important. I will look at the camera and it looks okay. So it's okay. So uh, it's self-explanatory, but I'm gonna just you know, tell you guys that this section is gonna be a head. And, and that means this character is, uh, is gonna be six heads tall. So of course you could have gone for seven heads tall, but then you have to divide the upper half, I mean divide the whole height of the character by seven, which does do not, you know, have the same line as the set of the body. Therefore you will have to make another line there and divide this one by two and then divide this and then yeah. No. It's complicated but it's possible. But you know don't need to explain anymore i'm just going to you know go ahead and show you guys how to draw the head of course i'm not going to go into the details now because i have another video on how to draw the side view of the head so i'm just going to be quick and show you guys how the shape should look like like this and of course it should be you know on the center of the body on this line and by the way, this line is so unclear. Why do I have two lines for it? It's that one. And for... Maybe I should move the head a little bit forward. I don't know. Probably okay. Not that important. You know, of course, this is just a sketch now. The head is not going to look like that in the end. Okay, so now for the hardest part. This is the hardest part, in my opinion, to get the shape of the body correct. 
Okay, so basically what I think of is uh, is that there should be a curve like this and not not much but a small curve like this and I should you know just go towards the left downwards pretty pretty much straight and then at the end around here around the center of this I don't know of these two lines just curve outwards again to make the button bottom bottom is that called a bottom yeah it is okay so for this one it should follow this line maybe a little bit more it depends on how much breast you want to give your character how large it should be I personally don't like to draw as large as some anime do because I think it's so unnatural and it's not very beautiful also where the line is so I'm just gonna move everything a little bit upwards like this and then the ankle is gonna be here so of course the height I mean the length between these two lines is gonna be the half of the length length be between these two lines the whole the half half the half yeah that's how you pronounce it okay that's pretty good now let's go up again and look at it pretty good now what we're lacking is of course the the arms the arms does not start from the side is and is in the middle but it's a little bit to the side you can see that on this line it's to the right of these lines so basically your your shoulder is a little bit you know on the back side of your body giving it some slight shape but not really a realistic one but once again this is just a sketch of course and when you draw the clothes on you know because of the fabric the all the shape is going to be less you know clear so it's going to the lines is going to be you know smoother and straighter it does not have those shape as much anymore even if it's um you know tight one not unless it's really really tight clothes So how do I know how, how large the hands is? R is to just you know compare it to the the face of the character. I think it should be around here, but of course it depends a lot on the style. Some anime have really small hands, some anime have really large hands. But my way is to be around there, around the height of the face. You know, of course I don't go ahead and measure it with my hand. It's just with the eyes and I'm not going to go into the details on how to draw the hands because I have a video on how to do so so make sure you check that one out now of course you can see that it, it covered a little bit of the curve but that's okay sometimes I want to you know, move the hands a little bit away so that you guys can see the curve but whatever Now let's just zoom out and see if everything is alright. I'm just going to move myself up a little bit. Okay, there. That is very good. Now the only thing that I'm not satisfied with is the neck. It's a little bit too thick. Okay, so now let's go into the details. Uh, and by the way, there is still something wrong with it. Because I made it a little thinner, I kind of see, you know, that it is not as good here. Okay, 
everything just kind of got worse, suddenly. Okay, around there, let's just leave it like that. I'm actually going to just go ahead and draw in the shape of the face. <laughs> 